Rapping. One of the most unique forms of music to come out of the 20th century. Rap is characterized by rhythmic and rhyming speech being chanted, aka rapped, over an accompanying beat and instrumentation. Coming out of the genre of hip-hop and the Big Apple itself, rap was birthed by many iconic musicians and superstars in its decades of mainstream prominence. The Sugar Hill Gang, LL Cool J, Public Enemy, The Beastie Boys, and others made up the original popular rappers. However, in the late 80s, a new form of rap emerged, which focused more on the extreme topics such as glamorized violence, drugs, and gang-related topics. Hence, it was given the name Gangster Rap. This new style of rap was highly controversial, making its most famous artists some of the most controversial figures in media at the time. People like Ice-T, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, The Notorious B.I.G., and Tupac became iconic for their controversial yet iconic lyrics, catchy backing tracks, and for some, even their deaths. But there is one true rapper that stood above them all, one who truly embodied what makes legends, legends. He was the rising son of the West, the realest of them all. Zura. Zura じゃないカツラだ。Uh, I mean, Katsura. Leader of the West 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 Coast Gang, the Joy Patriots, Katsura fought in many blood feuds against rival gang, the Shinsengumi, led by the MC Gorilla with his protégés Dr. Sadist and Little Mayo. Their rivalry was fierce and violent, putting all of the Kabuki district in fear of these two gangs. At the time, Katsura was losing the fight against the powerhouse of Shinsengumi Records, who had more rappers than they knew what to do with. So in a desperate act to recruit more members, Joy Patriot Zura set on the streets to recruit more members to his cause. But how to do this to reach the youth of today? His mascot Elizabeth was scary for not only teenagers but adults as well. He needed a jingle, something that everyone could remember and not get out of their heads for weeks afterwards. Leading you to constantly sing it in front of your wife. Leading to a rift in your marriage and eventually she leaves you, taking the house and everything by the clothes on your back. Making you nothing more than a useless matter like the stupid bum with the stupid glasses! And so, the MC Zura composed his masterpiece. Ah, ah. Ow. Cut so short, in the prime of his life. It could have been perfect, but because Biggie Ellie got stage fright due to her not talking ever, the magnum opus was ruined. But well, these powerful lyrics say so much about the man that was Zura. Zura じゃないカツラだ。Not only is the beginning lines his name to symbolize and call out to the dumbass, no good, low down idiot listening to this, that Zura is here and he's got a message for you. やるなら今しかねえ。Zura。やるなら今しかねえ。Zura。He calls for us to seize the opportunities in life. Never stumbling on our goals, fighting our hardest so our wives can cut us a frickin' break for once because yes, I'm looking for a job. I'm sorry I can't pay the alimony this month, Janet, but someone took my suit so I always look like a bum when I go to these job interviews. <sighs> He also says zero right afterwards because you know, whatever. The fuck. Joy, go joy, joy, go joy. It's a play on words, saying that if you join joy, you will be filled with joy. Unlike me and the never-ending spiral that is my life, maybe I should join. But I finally feel warmth again. The last time I felt warmth was when the Mad Dog threw up on my feet after a night of binge drinking. It may have stunk, but it kept me from getting frostbite that night. He calls for us to repeat this music again and repeat the chorus because he wants us to repeat. Okay, do I seriously have to continue explaining this stupid rap? Come on, Santa Claus, da yo. I ain't repeating this crap! Okay. Happy April Fool's Day, everyone, because I hope you enjoyed it, because I sure as hell didn't. I never want to hear Zura's stupid rap again.